guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So, in today's video, we are going to be discussing something that happens to everybody, okay? Me, all the time, bloating, okay? Nobody likes it. We all hate to bloat. Water retention, we don't like her. We don't want anything to do with it. So I'm coming at you with my top five ways to reduce bloat and reduce that water weight, okay? Because there is nothing like trying to go to the gym, okay? Looking all cute in your new gym gear, going on the beach in a new bikini, and then you're just freaking bloated. It gets really annoying and it could ruin your whole day, <laughs> let's be honest, okay? So before I get into this video, if you're not already, please do subscribe because I make new videos every single week. And if you like this video, don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up. Help your girl out. How to reduce bloating and water weight. Here we go. The number one piece of advice I could give somebody, okay, this is number one, is to drink a lot of water. If you are dehydrated in any way, shape, or form, it is a survival tactic. Your body biologically is made to hold on to water if it doesn't have enough of it. And believe me, more times than not, you are dehydrated without even realizing it. I could be chilling and not be thirsty, but it doesn't mean I'm not dehydrated, okay? My rule of thumb is trying to drink like about a gallon of water a day. It's very important to keep hydrated for many, many, many reasons, but because we are talking about bloating here, if you are dehydrated, your body's gonna literally seal up that water and it ain't gonna go anywhere, okay? It's just gonna hold on and it's gonna not feel very good, you know? When you hydrate your body, it's actually very, very good for your kidneys. It helps them to just function better and clean out any like sodium or toxins, anything like that, flushes it out of you, okay? So you're gonna be paying a lot more, girl, but it's worth it. Just keep on peeing. <laughs> okay, so that is number one, okay? Water's important, baby. Water's real important. Okay, I have water on me at all times. Get yourself a big bad boy like this. It'll be your best friend. That leads me into tip number two, okay? Here we go. That is to lower your sodium intake, okay? This is a big one. Mighty, mighty, mighty big. Sodium's a little tricky. Tricky business because <laughs> there's a lot of it <laughs> in a lot of food that you wouldn't even realize, baby girl. It's crazy when I really crack down on my sodium intake and see what I'm like read labels of things before I purchase them I am baffled by the sodium that's stuffed into things that I nor I would never think would even have close to that amount so for example I have been eating getting into the habit of eating high protein okay lean chicken breast I went to the store and I always buy the same chicken breast all the time not even thinking twice well your girl's been ultra ultra specific with the sodium so I decided to look at the sodium not thinking that there would be a massive amount stuffed into grilled chicken as you can see from this picture okay because I don't remember off the top of my head so I'm gonna insert the picture right here look how much sodium is in this chicken okay that's not necessary it's weird to me because this isn't like processed chicken it's natural chicken it's not like the Tyson it's not a uh, microwavable chicken it is lean freaking chicken what the heck i went to a different brand that was like right next to it same idea same thing there's barely any sodium in it okay. basically moral of the story is even if you think something's healthy check that label baby you check it you check that you can't trust nothing no more what sodium's gonna do it's going to dehydrate you okay you're gonna get very dehydrated your body dries out and it holds onto water. So you're gonna retain a lot of water the more sodium you intake. My rule of thumb, this is just me, this is my preference, is when looking at a label, I will always try to go less than 100 milligrams of sodium per serving, okay? So that's just my rule of thumb, that's what I'm comfortable with, with my body type and all that. It's really been beneficial to me since I've been keeping that little rule of thumb. I have experienced significantly less bloating you guys significantly I kid you not okay because I was dealing with bloat like on the reg okay it was getting real old real fast and I was like I don't understand but when you actually take the time to understand how the body works and what's in your food it's gonna make a world of difference trust in me so with that being said 
I don't just not eat salt, okay? I do eat salt. I add it onto my eggs in the morning. I'm very specific. I eat like a natural, the pink Himalayan salt instead of the um, iodized sodium. Um, it's just less chemically processed, okay? I just like to keep it a little more natural. Sodium's not an enemy. It's really good to incorporate some sodium into your diet. It's essential mineral for you, but just be very careful. That's all I gotta say. It's gonna, it's gonna make you retain a lot of water. If you are feeling bloated, if you just ate a real salty dinner, just grab your water, okay? Down that water, baby. Hydrate yourself. And actually, bananas and leafy greens are very good for um, lowering your sodium. Tip number three that I got is to sweat, sweat, sweat it out, girl. Sweat. This is actually a really obvious one because as you sweat, you're, you're literally... <laughs> leaking out water out of your pores okay so all that water okay <laughs> leaking i know all right i shouldn't have used that word my bad it you're you're expelling water there you go <laughs> you're expelling water and therefore losing water weight literally always remember there's a difference between body fat and water weight so generally when somebody starts to work out they're gonna lose the water weight first before the body fat because it's easier to come off. You can literally lose like four pounds in water weight <laughs> a day. It can fluctuate like that, okay? So don't get discouraged if you're doing everything right and then all of a sudden one day you're like, whoa, I am four pounds heavier. What the heck? Just remember that could be water weight, okay? And just like you put it on, you could kick it right back off, girl. So don't ever get discouraged, okay? We're gonna beat that water weight. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a wonderful thing to just sweat it out and just get that water out of your system. But it is also just as important, you already know what I'm gonna say, is to stay hydrated or else your body is just gonna slap you back in the face and say, ha ha, I'm gonna hold on to this water. So basically it goes hand in hand. You gotta, you gotta sweat it out, but keep hydrated, okay? That's the perfect remedy right there to just keeping things balanced. Yeah. Okay guys, so tip number four, here we go, is to lower your carb intake specifically simple carbs okay carbs are not necessarily a bad thing you need them for energy believe it if you're working out regularly especially if you're lifting heavy weights you need some carbs okay i'm not saying go cold turkey okay and it definitely depends on your body type all of that but generally when you eat excess amount of carbohydrates especially simple carbs <laughs> what happens is your body turns those simple carbs into glycogen and then the glycogen is what's going to retain water for every gram of simple carb it typically holds on to about three grams of water okay you catch my drift so if you're eating a lot of excess carbs you're gonna be retaining a lot of extra water yeah. simple carbs in case you don't know are anything like white breads okay white pasta even white rice things like that they're gonna they're gonna bloat you up real fast <laughs> and it's not fun okay i'm sure you know if you eat a big bowl of white pasta you ain't gonna feel the the best you're gonna you're not gonna want to work out okay you're probably gonna want to take a nap mm -hmm. i'm not saying get rid of carbs i would never say that but um just i guess be conscious of and aware of what type of carbs you're putting in your body and how much of it but again these are things that just work personally for me so i would never tell anybody what to eat and what to do with their body it's all about how you feel always want you to feel comfortable that's number one okay don't listen to me unless you want to listen to me tip number five my very last tip that i got for you okay supplements okay nothing crazy no diet pills here. Heck no, keeping it natural, baby. I'm talking vitamin supplements that could potentially just help you expel some water weight, help you feel good, and get rid of some gas, okay? This is the queen of gas right here, okay? I'm sorry, but I'm gonna keep it real. Especially if you eat a lot of protein, you're gonna be gassy, believe that. What? She ain't lying. I'm not lying. <laughs> you know? The first supplement that I swear by, guys, look at look at my face right now. My face is so serious right now when I say that CLA is my bae. 
It is a long chain fatty acid that helps to eliminate water weight and baby girl when I tell you that I live for CLA, I take it every single day. I could do everything right in the book, man. I could do everything that I basically told you today. But if I don't take CLA, there's this like 1% of like layer over me that I feel that makes me uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie, I know it sounds really nuts, but trust me, you know, you when people say you know your body best, Girl, I know my body best, and there's just a difference when I take CLA, okay? I get mine on Amazon, okay? Nothing crazy, nothing overly expensive about it, nothing illegal about it. It's just a natural supplement, okay? Yeah, even Bay, he swears by it too, okay? I got my mom hooked on it, and my brother. They're all taking it. <laughs> so, of course, you should always maintain a healthy diet. Don't just depend on CLA pills, that's ridiculous. You gotta just all around be healthy and put nutritious things into your body, but it is a nice um, help, I would say. CLA is a nice additive to your diet if you're trying to keep it super clean. It just gives you that little extra boost, at least for me. Everybody's body's different. Some people might take it and say, I don't notice a difference. Me personally, I do, okay, I truly do. CLA is really good for a lot of things. It's good for your heart health, it's good to target fat, and if it's targeting fat, it's also targeting water. Wait, you know what I said before, you know, fat holds onto a lot of water. A lot of bodybuilders use it, so it is very well known. A lot of people do use it. Taking CLA just gives me, it makes me feel a little more tighter, my muscles a little more defined. That's just how I feel. It's really good for maintaining muscle mass as well. So I would just definitely suggest that. Let's for a hot second talk about gas. <laughs> Gas is normal. Nothing not normal about it. Some things cause gas more than others, like high protein, high fibrous foods. There's no doubt about that. But it's also healthy to eat high protein diets, high fiber diets, okay? It's, it's good for you. If you're trying to eliminate gas, that gassy pockets that just move around, don't cut those things out of your diet because it's very healthy. Instead, mm. Charcoal bills can help you out a little bit in that department. It's charcoal. Look at that. It's, there's real charcoal in there. It doesn't smell like anything, in case you were wondering. Right here, I got two charcoal pills in my hand, and they are dirty. Look at that. Got my hand all filthy, okay? Like I was just working on a vehicle or something. But, uh, yeah, no, there's just my charcoal pills doing it, that's all. <laughs> so it's gonna absorb gas pockets is what it's gonna do okay it'll it'll eliminate the gas that you got going on in your intestines so charcoal pills are definitely uh, if you if you're kind of like hurting in that department where you're just like you don't know what to do with that gas <laughs> try some charcoal pills so guys those were my top five tips to reducing bloating and water weight and specifically in that gut region, okay? So to sum it up, top five right here, drink a ton of water, lower that sodium intake, okay? Be aware of what you're putting in your body and check those labels. Sweat it out, baby. Sweat it out while keeping hydrated. Reduce those simple carbs. Just monitor it and make sure you're eating just what's right for your body. And lastly, number five, is to consider, consider supplements, if that's something that you think would help you. But, I'm gonna always say this as a disclaimer right here, right now, is to always, when you're taking anything new like vitamin supplements, consult your doctor. I'm not a doctor, <laughs> nowhere near it, and I don't know your body, okay? Like your doctor and you do. So always consult your doctor because I don't know your body and I don't know what you're taking right now, so I don't know what could have uh, reverse effects or negative effects. So always consult your doctor, but these are just tips, okay? These are just my personal things that have helped me eliminate a significant, okay, significant amount of bloating in that gut region, okay? So I really hope that this video has helped somebody out there, okay? And if it did, please do give a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe because I do make new videos just like this, health and fitness every single week. So with that being said, Go drink that water, go sweat it out. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.